Welcome to the Plantronics Savvy Office Setup Guide. Today we will cover installing, wearing, and using your new headset system. All Savvy headsets feature up to 350-foot wireless range on PC and desk phone calls, high-quality audio and remote call controls, including call, answer, end, mute, and volume adjust. Your Savvy Office comes with the headset, base, charge cradle, telephone interface cable, USB cable, power supply, ear tips or ear cushions, headband, a quick start guide, and a software CD with the full user guide. Connect base power supply cable into charging base and plug into an outlet. Place the charging cradle in the base and gently push the headset into the charging cradle. The charging indicator light on the base will flash green to indicate it is charging. Charge for at least 20 minutes prior to first use. Plantronics software allows your headset to work more seamlessly with your soft phone providing controls including call, answer, end, mute, and some additional features. You should check with your IT staff before installing software on your computer. Please see your Quick Start Guide with Software link to download instructions or visit www.plantronics.com slash software. On this page, select Download Latest Software. Once you agree to the terms and conditions, you can begin downloading the software. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation. Plug the small end of the USB cable into the base, then plug the other end into an open USB port on your PC, rather than a docking station or USB hub which may not supply adequate power. Once connected, your computer will recognize the new device and notify you when it's ready to use. If your product came with an electronic hook switch cable, please refer to the setup modules in the following sections. Connect the telephone interface cable to the jack on the base and then disconnect the handset coil cord from the desk phone. Connect the telephone interface cable to the open handset port on the desk phone and then connect the handset coil cord to the telephone interface cable junction box. Place the handset back on the telephone cradle. This step is still necessary when installing an HL10 lifter, but not with an EHS cable. Press the handset lifter power cord into the handset lifter jack. Position the lifter as shown in the diagram. While wearing your headset, press the call control button on your headset to activate the lifter. If you hear a dial tone, the lifter is set correctly and needs no adjustment. Attach lifter to phone using the three mounting tapes on the underside of the lifter. For additional setup information, see your user guide. If your Savvy came with an EHS cable, insert the cable into the base as shown. When connecting to your desk phone, please note that phones and cables vary. For complete setup information, including ideal settings, View installation instructions for your phone model at the following URL. Slide the headset over and behind your ear, then press gently toward your ear. Position the microphone close to the corner of your mouth to ensure that your voice is picked up clearly and background noise is effectively cancelled. The headset can be worn on either ear and can be attached to a headband for an over-the-head wearing style.
To answer or end a call, press the call control button on the headset or press either the base desk phone or PC talk button, depending on the source of the call. To increase or decrease the volume, press the call control button up or down. To mute your call, press the call control button down for one and a half seconds. The base talk button indicator light will turn solid red. On the top of your Savvy Office Base, there are two call control buttons. Press the Desk Phone Talk button on the right to initiate, answer, or end a call from your desk phone. Press the PC Talk button on the left to initiate, answer, or end a call from your PC. To switch between your desk phone and PC audio, press the Base Talk button of the device that you want to switch to for less than one second. To join your PC and desk phone calls, simultaneously press down the desk phone and PC talk buttons for one and a half seconds until both indicator lights turn solid green. While on a call, you can conference in up to three additional headsets. Place your guest's headset into over-the-air subscription mode by pushing the headset volume up button for three seconds until the indicator light is solid green. Then press the subscription button on the base. It will flash yellow and green and then turn yellow. When you hear a tone in your headset, press the call control button within five seconds and your guest is joined to the call. To ensure your headset audio is properly routed, from the 1X main screen, select the menu icon. Select Settings, then General Settings. Highlight Audio, then select Audio Tuning Wizard. Select your headset as the default device for both playback and recording. You can now test and adjust volume, recording level, and identify background noise for optimal noise cancellation. When adjustments are complete, select Finish. To call an existing contact, select the address book icon, then click the phone icon to the right of the contact. You can also enter a phone number manually in the main window using the text box above the contacts area. When a call is placed, a call window will open and the audio will be routed to your headset. Answering incoming calls is easy. A PC call notification appears in the lower right of your computer screen and in the main Avaya 1X window. To answer the call, use the controls on your headset or click the green phone icon on the PC. Audio device adjustments can also be made from the PC control panel. Go to the Start icon. Select Control Panel and then select Sound. Make sure that your headset is set as the default communications device both in the playback and recording tabs. To make volume or other audio adjustments, click on Properties and select the Levels tab. In this menu, you can test and adjust listening and side tone volumes. Side tone allows you to hear a small amount of your own voice through the headset. The correct side tone level can help you regulate the volume of your voice when wearing a headset. When finished making sound and level adjustments, click OK. Your installation is now complete and your headset is ready to use. We hope you enjoy your new Plantronic Savvy Headset System.